Okay guys, today we're going to show you how to log into Education Perfect to practice your Chinese either in class or at home. Now, the quickest way to do it, I think, rather than doing a Google search, is you go up to your Omnibar up here, type in educationperfect.com. comes up automatically for me because I've used it a few times already. So, you'll then, when your computer's ready, get into the sign up or login page. Now, as a student at Coffs Arbor High School, you already have an account, so you don't need to sign up, you just need to log in. And you can do that by clicking where it says log in up here on the right. So we click on there and it's going to take us to Education Perfect's login page. Now, the format for your username uh, is set by the school. So up here it says username, we told type in CHHS. Cross Harbour High School, then you type in your name. Now there's no dot or anything like that, so I've got an example student called John Student. So I'm just going to type in John Student. All right, so it's CHHS, first name, last name. Now the first time you log in, your password is your first name. So for this guy, it's just going to be J O H N. So CHHS, first name, last name. Your password is your first name, and we log in. So this happens the first time you log in. You have a temporary password, so you can change it to something more secure, which I would recommend that you do. Uh, make sure it's something that you remember, though. As your teacher, I can reset your password, but it's best if you choose something here that you can remember. I'm not going to bother doing with that now because this is just an example account. Um, you should change your password though to something that you're it is more secure that you will remember. All right, so you've changed your password and you'll get in and your screen will look something like this. Now, there's lots of subjects that we could choose, but all the ones down here, if I try and choose English and literature, I don't have a license. We do have a license for Chinese though. So I'm gonna click on Chinese, select it, and now I'm done. Now we can start learning. So once we've done that, this is our Sort of your main home page. You can see it's got John Student's name up here. I've got no points in the system yet. Um, we can see that I've done Chinese um, and it tells me about any current events that are on. Um, and down here we've got our scoreboard. So how do I know what I want to do? Well, if I've assigned you something as your teacher, the easiest way is to click in here. Now, obviously the class that John's in hasn't had anything assigned yet. Um, so there's nothing really for them to, to, to do in the tasks and assignment. You could also just click on Chinese and find something yourself. So we've caught up with all the tasks. We can actually browse. And if we want to practice our numbers, say we've done the numbers from 1 to 10. So I can just type up numbers up there and see what comes up. But look, and here I've got the numbers 1 to 10. All right, so I can click on that list. And this is something that I can practice myself. So this is the... First screen you'll see for a translation list. You can see here we've got a list of words, we've got the Chinese, we've got the English, and over here is my progress. Now, if I hover over here, it can show you how this works. These are all dots, so I haven't learnt them yet. I learn them once, I get a point, and a star shows up over here. Once that I've learned them and they're ready for revision, there's a star plus another dot. If I can get my second star, if I go back and do this list again, uh, the next day. If I go back and revise it a week later, I'll get three stars. If I go back and revise it a month later, I'll get four stars. And if I go back three months later and do this list again, I'll get five stars, and that's the maximum. So the key here is to not just do this list once. Yeah, we've got to go back and we've got to revise, do it as many times as we can.